Hello and welcome. And to start off with this Photoshop series, I'm going to share with you how I create a thumbnail using Photoshop. Um, so this thumbnail is going to be for a video that I'm currently uploading. And that is part three to my Construct 3 series. Uh, I think I've lost it somewhere. Oops. Should be uploading. Still uploading. It is uploading. So I'm going to create a thumbnail for it. So nothing special here in the background, but we're going to blur that out. So it's not going to matter too much. It's just going to be there. The main thing will be adding other elements to the photo. So we've got his background. Now I need my foreground and that is going to be my lovely face. gonna add that good looking fella right okay add that in there I'm just gonna scale myself up wonderful do you know what I'm a bit spotty there so shall we also advance this tutorial a little bit I remove some of the blemishes just to make my skin look nice ish look at that can even remove my beauty spots but I'm not going to do that because that's what defines who I am these beauty spots Maybe even get rid of the wrinkles. Oops. There we go. Better. <laughs> right, so we now want to separate myself from this. And to do that is so easy with a few clicks of a button. Object selection tool. Look at that. Fantastic. So we're just going to select a mask, feather the edges so they're not rough. Uh, okay. Now, new layer via cut. There you go. Easy as that. I am now with the background that I imported. Uh, at the beginning. So now I'm just going to blur out this background. We don't actually want to see that. So we're going to go over to filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. And about seven pixels. That'll do. Right. So. Um, just going to add this. Zombies ate my neighbors. What else? We have the Construct 3 logo. So there, maybe move this. To about there. And do we have anybody else? Zombies ate my neighbors. Add some more elements in there. We've got Julian Zeke. And then we're just going to add text saying part three. Scale that up. It's going to go there. Blending options. Add a stroke to that. Change the color of that stroke. Color overlay. Increase the stroke size. Uh, 
Do we like this? Some busy my neighbors. I think that'll do, actually. It's as simple as that. So I'm just going to export. Export as. Now for YouTube thumbnails, it needs to be two megabytes or less. So that is perfect. 1.7 export. Desktop. Let's go to my YouTube. Details. Upload thumbnail. Save. And it is as simple as that. Hope you found the video useful. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, subscribe if you want to be a part of this new Photoshop series where I'm going to share with you some very beginner tips and demonstrations on how to remove blemishes, backgrounds, replace skies, just simple Photoshop editing tricks. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.